this and welcome to our sixth video lecture. Today we will speak about topology and relationships. Well, I believe that uh, this video lecture is really very interesting and a lot of things will come up. So I want you to take a pen, prepare yourself to take notes and we have a lot of things to discover. First of all, what is a, a topology? Let's remind ourselves. Well, this is a, a word coming from the Greek topos, that means place, and uh, topology, logos, that means speech, discourse, if you want. So, what um, structures our sphere, our topos, our um, place of uh, functioning in this world? Our world, actually, it's like, imagine that it's like a circle, like um, a planet, okay? It's your planet. What is there in, in this planet? What did, do you put in there? And who do you put in there? Who do you allow being part of your world? Who is in there? Okay, this is what we will see today. And we will also try to understand why. We, we allow those people in our circle. So, first of all, well, I have a lot of questions, okay? <laughs> who is around you? Think, who is around you? Who is in your topology? Do those people make you feel good? What kind of relationship do you have with people around you? Think about your relationship with your parents, your friends, your colleagues, your partner, and maybe other women around you, okay? How do you position yourself when you are around the people in your circle? I'm sure you will not uh, um, speak with the same way to your mom and to your best friend or to your... Uh, partner or to your colleague, I guess, but okay, you never know. So let me know in your comments later on. How do you connect with them? For example, I will give you some examples and you will think about it and please let me know if you have any other inspirations. Do you connect with people by being the good girl, the bad girl, the strong girl, the angel? the devil? Do you connect with people by being the successful one, the tough one, the weak one? What about people who connect with other people about uh, by being the sick person and the nurse? Because those two go together. The nurse who is there to heal everyone around, be there supporting everyone always. How do you connect with people? Are you connecting with people by being the giving person, the supportive person, the bank who is paying everything, the cleaning lady? Okay. Take your time. Think. Write things down. Think about people around you, in your world. Think about th your position and try to answer why am I keeping this particular position with this or that person? Are you okay with this position? Or this situation makes you suffer? And if something like this happens, then why do you still keep this place? Okay. Are you the woman you want to be? Are you yourself? Do you speak freely with all those people that are in your topology? Or do you count your words so you don't get misunderstood, so you don't make any trouble, so you don't get, I don't know, uh, judged? If you don't feel free, then think about it. Why? Are you okay with that? Or would you like to change it? Do you want to keep contact with all the people in your circle? All 
or is it time for cleaning up? And what about your social media? Think about this as well, because now, nowadays, social media is a very big part of our daily life, right? So how many friends do you have on Facebook and who? And who do you follow on Instagram, for example? What kind of information do you allow passing from your eyes every, every day? What kind of information do you allow enter in your mind, in your head? All this, of course, um, affects uh, affect us daily. But very often we don't even think about that. Well, okay, take your time, write this down, think, for example, about family. Okay, family sometimes, well, there are people that we didn't choose, okay? We are there, we have been there from uh, the beginning of our life. So what to do if someone in our family circle don't uh, make us um, feel good, okay? What to do? Well, you can adjust your time. You can adjust your time you spend with them. And of course, you have always the option to go or to not go to an invitation, to a party, to a celebration, whatever, okay? Of course, you pay the price every time if you go or if you don't. So you choose. But if uh, you want uh, to uh, avoid or to adjust, how to say, a situation that makes you feel bad or whatever, well, my suggestion is to be to stay as long as this is bearable for you in a situation, whatever. Uh, as long as you breathe, actually. When you feel that this encounter start, starts being unbearable, then okay, calmly and with kindness, you can leave. There is no no reason to fight, no reason to get into any conversation you don't want to, and no reason to answer to any question you don't want to, okay? You adjust. You will find your solution. And I believe that it's really very important to do what you love and listen to your needs. What do you want to feel good? How long would you like to stay in that... Uh, uh, house or in this uh, party or whatever. Uh, now, with friends, I'm sure when you love yourself, you select wisely your friends because friends are actually the family of our choice. So imagine if you have friends that are not okay with you. Those are not friends, my opinion. Okay. Now, what about with uh, your relationship with your colleagues? Do you allow any, to any colleague to underestimate you? How are you functioning in your um, workplace? Are you the girl, the lady who is doing all the job? Are you the bossy one? Are you the victim? Are you whatever? Uh, think about your relationships with your colleagues, with your uh, superior or your employees if you are a boss. <laughs> And now, let's go to our love life. What about men? Uh, what kind of partner would you like by your side? Do you love him? Are you in a relationship or not? And if not, what, what kind of person would you like to spend your life uh, with? Okay. It's really interesting and, uh, well, um, I'm sure that uh, the person who, who is with you will affect your life daily, so it's very important to choose wisely. <laughs> and uh, what else? Here I would like to tell you uh, that it's, it, it's nice when you leave him take his place as a man in the relationship. Um, Maybe don't do everything, okay, by your own. Don't try to control everything. It's, uh, it's nice 
to leave him treat you right to enjoy enjoy being a woman next to him uh, well I believe that it's very important if this person inspires you and if you admire him of course whatever I say here it's my opinion I said it again because may some people feel differently of course feel free <laughs> Um, and don't forget that he's not supposed to be a guru. What that means? He should not guess what you want. Okay? It's another person. It's not you. Guide him. Tell him. Tell him what you want. Tell him what you need. Tell him what makes you happy. What, um, what makes you feel um, comfortable or not. Speak about your plans, speak about your job, your dreams, your passions. Be honest, of course, and be yourself. Okay? Feel free and breathe. That's it. Well, our homework for today, of course, is to try to answer to all those questions, to uh, filter our topology, to leave outside people we don't want anymore in our life, and select who is going to stay in our new topology. Okay, it's a big challenge. Take your time and I want your comments. I'm waiting. <laughs> Ciao, see you later. To the next one, I mean. <laughs> Bye.